If you're a fan of Android Auto but hate connecting a cable up to your phone every time you get in and out of the car, maybe what you need is this AA Wireless's wireless dongle which changes your Android Auto into a full-blown wireless experience. Does it work? Let's find out. Stick around. Okay, so let's have a look at the AA Wireless. The, um, the box is actually remarkably unremarkable. has a QR code on the back to scan to get the app, which is going to be necessary to use the device. Let's just go ahead and open it up and see what's in the box. It's another one of those uh, boxes that's got like a pressure seal on it so you can't get the thing open no matter what you do. Yeah, these things are just a fact of life. I'd rather not destroy the box trying to get it open, but we'll sit here and struggle for just another moment. Okay, let's get our fingers underneath there and see if we can get this thing open. Okay. Jeez. All right, so here's the quote instruction manual. Many languages. Getting to know your adapter, safety instructions, you know, standard stuff. This, um, all right, looks pretty straightforward. Here is an included, looks like decent quality USB-C cable. Great. And let's take a look at the dongle itself the little unit that will be giving you wireless Android. Also completely unremarkable. All right, a USB-C, looks like there's a reset button and an LED of some sort to let you know maybe the status of the device. And uh, wow, that's kind of it. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and set the app up. It's gonna ask for some permissions. And uh, if you don't already have one, they want you to order one. Okay, well, we've already got it. Okay, so uh, basically make sure that wireless projection is enabled inside of Android Auto. So we're going to need to go ahead and uh, open up our Android settings here. Yeah, hit the button in the middle. There you go. All right, so we're going to scroll down and see if we can verify that those permissions are good. A lot of stuff going on in there. There's wireless Android. Perfect. I think we're okay. Let's start it up. Okay, go start your car and connect your phone. So I guess we're going outside. Road trip-ish. All right, so we're in the car here, and um, I think we're ready to go. I can only apologize so many times for the condition of my wife's car. She's a teacher, and at the end of the school year, her car becomes a complete disaster, and then we detail it before she goes back to school. But right now, it's a complete pit, and I apologize. So we start your car and connect your phone using a wired USB connection first. Okay, fair enough. We can do that. Go ahead and connect our existing Android Auto up here. There we go. And I'm assuming... Well, it's not going to do anything on its own, I guess. thought maybe it would hit next. Maybe I, maybe I have to hit Android Auto on here first. Hmm. Android Auto is not there. Hmm. Okay, maybe we unplug and plug it back in. See what happens now. Okay, perfect. So let's uh, enable Android Auto here and see if that takes us through the next step or if we really have to hit next. Okay. All right, well, all right, next. All right. Get going. Now unplug your phone and plug in the AA wireless dongle. Well, that's easier, easy enough. Well, sort of if you're holding the phone. There we go. Let's plug that in. And we'll just put the dongle over here. Again, I cannot apologize enough for the condition of my wife's car. Okay, so um, we plugged it in, and I'm assuming we're going to have to go ahead and hit next on our own, like we did before. Okay, it says it's searching for the device. Pairing, okay, so cool. There is the device. We'll go ahead and allow that device to be managed. Okay, accept the pair request. Wi-Fi speak between the two of them there, it looks like. Okay, launching. Android should start within one minute. All right, so... Okay, oh, there we go. We need to re-enable Android Auto again for this device. Really? No more devices can be added? Oh, geez, look at this. What a mess. All right, let's choose the oldest phone that's on here. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Okay, yes, out the door with you. 
Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's move this along here. People are bored. Okay. So now it says it's loading. And we're going to time compress this here. They said it should take a minute. But I think having to change that device totally hose something. I don't know, removing that device. I'm going to unplug it and plug it back in. And, yeah. Okay, so we're going to wait and see what comes up here. Oh, wait, something flickered. Okay, let's try this again. Loading. So now do I have to wait another minute? I don't know. We'll just let it sit here for just a moment. I assume when you plug the dongle back in, it has to boot. So there's a boot period each time power is applied. We'll find out what that boot period is in a minute. I just, I need to get this thing going here. Uh... Okay, well, let's open the troubleshooter because things aren't working. Uh, the light on the, the dongle is solid blue. So let's go ahead and choose solid blue. And it says next to reset your device to default settings. Okay, so now it's doing its thing again. Okay, on, oh, there, oh, Android's available. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, we got it. It's up. All right, it works. Yay. Well, it works finally, I guess you should say. All right. So um, I guess we're good here. Did it work? Uh, yes, it did. Mm, no, I think we're good. Okay. So uh, this looks okay. Let's go ahead and perform this system update here. That could be a reason why it was a little glitchy getting connected too. Uh, had I thought about it, I might have tried to have updated it before I did the connection stuff, but you probably had to do this all in order. So we're working with what we have here. So we're going to go ahead and download over our, uh, over our mobile data. doesn't look like it's a super big file. It'd be nice if they told us, but that's okay. Just because, you know, those who are on metered connections probably don't want the, uh, probably don't want the additional charges if you're on a quota or anything. I know a lot of people are unlimited these days, but we are not yet. We're still grandfathered in on a really good wireless plan. So, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let it do the update. I'm not time compressing any of this just because I want you guys to see how long the download takes, how long the update takes. I could have time compressed it and then give you a runtime, but then you'd be uh, bereft of hearing my dogs barking in the background while I'm trying to record a damn video. I don't know what it is with them. The sound of my voice drives them into a frenzy. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, so we're almost done here. It's going pretty quick. So we went from 1.12 to 2.0 to... So that's, uh, I mean, that's a major build point. So yeah, probably, probably a good idea to do that sooner than later. All right, so the device is uh, updated. Let's see what we got here, waiting for a reboot. I don't like to time compress these things a lot of the times because you, know, you might be uh, in a situation where you're worried about time and um, you, know, you, probably, you probably wanna know how long this stuff's gonna take. So we're still waiting for the reboot. So I'm assuming the reboot is the same amount of time it takes to fire up, which we'll find out later. Uh, we're gonna do a, a full power up to, to available test. Okay, so there's no update available. We're all good. And um, let's see what we got. Okay, there we go. Now we're back here and all right. So let's see what else we can do in this app here. There's just a few device, well, there's a lot of device settings in here, actually. Uh, I'm not gonna mess with any of these, but I figured, you know, you might wanna look at what other things that the app adds for your uh, usage. DPIs, dongle mode, there's some interesting stuff in here. We'll have to, um, we'll have to take a look at what, this, uh, what these other device settings are. Power on test. From the time you power on the car, when do you have Android Auto? All right, so we pushed the button, we started the car. Let's wait and see how long it takes. Now, I hit the OK button there, but um, you don't actually have to. Here's something really interesting, a little bonus feature of this dongle is that um, it will clear the OK button for you, which is kind of cool. I mean, uh, that's a neat little feature. Okay, it's loading and we're live. So if you did your own timer, which I did, you're talking about, about a... Uh, a 30 second power up. Hopefully you can hear me over my dogs. That's it. And, and it all works. Everything is exactly the way that you would hope Android Auto would be, but it's only now it's, it's wireless, which is great. All right. Well, uh, you can see there's no uh, cord connected. We're definitely on wireless Android. 
And uh, this is good stuff. We'll tuck this little dongle into the console. And uh, hopefully we never have to look at it again. We just put it in there and, and we, uh, we move on. Okay, so it seems to work great. I mean, <laughs> we've driven around for a couple of days. My wife's used her car. She seems to be totally thrilled with it. We've had no connection problems. It's always booted up. Uh, listen, for 90 bucks, it's kind of pricey. But if you're looking to spare your USB-C port and maybe get a little bit better connectivity, my wife has tons of problems getting connected via the wire for some reason. So far, this seems to be an amazing alternative. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. I'm Shane R. Monroe, and thanks so much for watching. Take care.